first step in bringing in a third-party LUT is to search the internet from your favorite browser for free LUT. Here's a sample of what we found at one location, and you can use this or do a search on your own. When you bring in a LUT, it may have one of several file formats. This will be the extension name on the file. You might find a LUT that is a 3DL, a CSP, a Cube, an M3D, an MGA, an RV3D LUT, or a VF. All of these work in PowerDirector. What we'd like to do is show you an example of a third-party LUT in action, and then we'll show you more about what to do once you've downloaded your LUT from the internet in bringing it into PowerDirector. Now that we have the file downloaded from the internet, we're going to go to our file system where we stored the file. In this case, it happens to be my free LUTs subdirectory and the file I downloaded was called freecustomizedluts.zip. I unzipped the file, it created the file folder which is first in line here in my file structure. So I'm going to click on that. And then that created another subfolder called shutterstock free LUTs along with a PDF in that directory. So I'll click here and now I see the elements that I have to use as some of the LUTs I can add to PowerDirector for free. You notice in this case they end in the file extension cube. You may find the other ones that we mentioned available as well, but cube works fine. I'm going to use the hard boost one as the one that we're going to bring into our PowerDirector program. So how do I do that? Well first of all I need to launch PowerDirector. Now that I'm in PowerDirector, I need to move to the effects room. I can press the F4 function key or click on the icon on the left side. And when I'm there, I can download this brand new third party LUT. To do that, I click on the file folder with the arrow in the upper left corner. When I hover over it, it says import color presets or color LUTs. I'll click on there. For some reason, it takes a second click. I'll click on the subsequent menu and then that will take me, I'll navigate to my file system. I've already done that and here I have my hard boost cube. I could click on one or more of these free LUTs or third party LUTs and then click on open and that will pull it into PowerDirector. Now the important thing to remember is this is now available for all my projects, both the current one and the future ones. I could drag through the icons if they're alphabetical and I could see my hard boost right here or what I prefer to do is change the view to details view and then you're going to see them here as well. Now you notice the type that is assigned to third party is imported. I click on the down arrow I see that hard boost is imported. If I alphabetize the list I notice I have several imported elements here in my effects room. I have another LUT that I pulled in at a different time from a different location. So that's where you find it. To apply the LUT to a particular track, you just simply take it and drag and drop it. We'll do it on track number two here. And now the LUT is applied as I have it on the example you saw earlier. I just basically used masks and moved it across the screen so you could see the contrast. To deactivate the LUT in this particular video clip, I click on the eye icon on the lower left corner, click on color LUT, and I can uncheck the box and it, it's not applied, it's still there if I want to reactivate it. If I want to remove it completely, I'll click on the minus button and then that will remove it from the video. It does not remove it from my effects room. If I want to take it out of, out of the effects room and decide that I probably will never use it. I don't want it to take up space, complicate things. I right click on it and then I click on delete. I can also hide it by the way. I'll click on delete and it says this will be deleted from the library so I can't use it in future projects. I'll say yes and now it's gone. It's no longer there in my effects library. If I want to bring it back in all I need to do is click on the file folder with a down arrow and I can bring it in and delete it as many times as I want. But that's a little bit on taking a LUT and making it work for you as a third-party option to add your resources in PowerDirector.